about 5.30, frantic moments captured on cell phone video after a six-year-old boy on a scooter is struck in the street. A Miami police officer hit that child while driving to meet another officer early Wednesday night. Thankfully, the child survived, and now the crash investigation into what happened is well underway. CBS 4's Joe Murray live at Jackson Memorial Hospital, where family members say the child has been moved out of intensive care. Good news. Yeah, very good news. The child has some broken bones, but he is expected to fully recover. Now, people who live in that neighborhood say in the aftermath of this accident, what they would really like to see changed is how fast police officers travel through their neighborhood, which is always full of children. <laughs> A cell phone captured the crash aftermath. Horrified witnesses ran to help six-year-old Antoine Lawson seconds after a Miami police officer in his patrol car hit the child who was crossing the street on a scooter. It happened Wednesday at Northwest 5th Avenue and 58th Street. No, 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 crowd! No, crowd! While an officer checked for a pulse, spectators lashed out at police on scene. And he was twisted up, head leaking, it looked like he was dead. But Antoine Lawson was alive. After undergoing surgery, his family says he will recover. He's breathing. He don't have any brain damage. Everything is okay. Miami crash investigators are piecing together the accident. Police are not naming the officer and say he remains on patrol. At this point, it doesn't appear that speed was a factor. Uh, but, of course, this is preliminary. Numerous witnesses disagree and say the officer was speeding and that it's common on this street. That block right there, they always zoom in past. I think that it should be justice, and I think that my friend should have some type of closure, and I think that they should fire him. He don't, he don't need to be on the force because police are supposed to help people, not hurt babies. That's how I feel. Now, this investigation into the crash is just beginning. Of course, how fast he was going is going to play a part in the results of this crash investigation. And at that point, police will determine if that officer faces any disciplinary charges. In Miami, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.